you can see in distance certain parts of this area falling slowly into the ocean. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem to be a lot of disruption when I'm there, though. It is taken for granted that this will be occurring. Mm -hmm. So I sit in a coffee house type place with other locals and we watch some of the movement up there. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be there? Well, the scene changed to not so much comfort as it is knowing we have to leave mm -hmm. at some point. Mm -hmm. In that the hotel is closing up and the people are going back to different parts of the country. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing? Um, I'm there. Um, I'm visiting. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought it would be staying there much longer, but it's just for visits and things are erupting in a different way. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a long time ago place, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe in the Greek islands, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. What else seems to be happening as you look around? There's some chaos and rubble. Mm -hmm. I saw some uh, movements of the rocks and the earth mm -hmm. have shaken. Mm -hmm. So you started to move around a bit? Yeah, I, I, I know that there's things that need to be done, but I don't feel the chaos. Mm -hmm. I, see the, I know there's broken glasses and broken things. And mm -hmm. And just look down at the ground and tell me if you can see your feet. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have shoes on. Mm -hmm. What kind of shoes? They're sandals. Mm -hmm. I vacationed here. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I enjoy coming here and thought I would want to stay longer. Mm -hmm. You need something on your feet to cover some of the the debris that is around me. Mm -hmm. well, what are you wearing as you scan up your body? Mm, what I should wear? Mm, something. It's not robes, it's more short. Mm -hmm. Kind of short. Mm -hmm. like, uh, it's uh, fashionable, but not. What color is it? It's white and some gold in it. Some white and gold? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where does it come to on your body? Around the knees. Around the knees? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's on the knees. Uh, at first I thought the, the sandals were brown, and when I see the gold and the white, now I look at brown, and the sandals are, are, are golden too. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, mm. it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're in a male body or female body? At this picture, I have a male body. You have a male body. Mm -hmm. And scan up into the body. What else do you notice about what you're wearing? Something around the shoulders. Mm -hmm. that are strong. Um, I have a cloak over them. Mm -hmm. Cloak over them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some kind of cloak. It's a little, it's almost like a metallic. Mm -hmm. Feels like that. Mm -hmm. It could, it could be a gas or a liquid too, but it has its its magic with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something special about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about in your hands? Do you have anything on or in your hands? On my hands, there's something I'm holding in my right hand, and it's like a cane with a. Golden top of some kind. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is that. And focus on it and describe it to me. What is this cane? Oh, it's this a gold. Bird. It's a bird. A bird with gold. Mm -hmm. a golden bird. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's used for uh, energy here? 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Helping. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what's up around the rest of the body as you scan up into the neck and the head? What do you notice there? There's emeralds of some kind, or some kind of rocks or something, crystals with um, ways of connecting with the higher frequencies mm -hmm. around, even on the head. Mm -hmm. What's there on the head? I thought it was a. It looked like a helmet that's kind of disappearing in the back, and it's more of a crown around the top, mm -hmm. but it's there for uh, activation of some kind. Mm -hmm. What does it do? Mm, I think it's pulling in frequencies of information. Mm -hmm. mm, it helps the body also. In what way? Well, the nervous system of the physical body is very... Um, um, it has been traumatized a lot. Mm -hmm. And it seems to um, activate. It's kind of tight in my stomach right now. Mm -hmm. I can't be sure it activates nice things or, mm -hmm. or not, but it does activate an energy. Mm -hmm. and you'll just feel more and more comfortable as you breathe in and get adjusted to it. Okay. And it'll just equal out and feel really good. Mm -hmm. What are you doing there with your cane? What are you doing now? It seems like I'm making a decree of some kind. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. It's quite, it's quite secretive. Mm -hmm. Well, just us here so you yeah. can share. Yeah. You can even say it if you want. About the fall. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Mm -hmm. I don't know what fall. Something about our consciousness did not hold up to our abilities in this life. Mm -hmm. What happened? Well, it was it corrupted? Mm -hmm. It's corrupted. It's corrupted, and there are certain. Technologies mm -hmm. that were used that were not a value for any of a kind. Mm -hmm. What kind of technologies were this? Ways of training the brain and the mind and the heart. Mm -hmm. Away from Collectiveness and to separation. Mm -hmm. It was an experiment mm -hmm. that did not start out as being wrong mm -hmm. necessarily, mm -hmm. more inquisitive. But as it got deeper, there was no way out of the destruction it was causing. Mm -hmm. So you were using the technology as a way to experience separateness? There were those who used the technology that way. Mm -hmm. Mine was not pushing that. Mm -hmm. But yet I was involved. Mm -hmm. In what way were you involved? Mm -hmm. To bring calmness to the way people were being separated, mm -hmm. to help ease the discomfort mm -hmm. of that process. Mm -hmm. And then in the final stages, it was clear that this was not good. Mm -hmm. What was starting to happen that made you think that? The violence that was breaking out. Mm -hmm. The disharmony. Mm -hmm. I could not calm once we split. Mm -hmm. There was no calm. Mm -hmm. It was uh, earthquake within the structure 
what are the atoms and the molecules doing? Mm -hmm. So it really shook us up at the cellular level. Yes, I can feel the very, very deep uh, mm, confusion and sadness. You know, what has happened here? Mm -hmm. That's all of us. Mm -hmm. What were some of the other ways that this technology were affecting people? Well, it, uh, it was keeping them conditioned. Mm -hmm. This is an unfortunate part of the story. Mm -hmm. well, I'm glad you're sharing it with us. It's just to know more. Mm -hmm. Because if we can't go to the corrections and so the Destructions have been uh, remedied mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in our hearts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I took on a lot that lifetime mm -hmm. as being responsible mm -hmm. for that destruction and took on more than was mine. Yeah. I can feel it in the, the body, genetics, and the bones. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering what these technologies look like. Can you describe them to me? Uh, they uh, use light mm -hmm. and frequency and sound. Mm -hmm. And uh, some come from other beings and um, that have helped. In, support mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of these experiments. Mm -hmm. What did the devices look like? Cones, some are cones, mm -hmm. some are rods, mm -hmm. some just have uh, filters of um, different kinds of metals mm -hmm. are attached and uh, sound waves. Mm -hmm. So it's like sound and frequency? Yeah. yeah. Would it have a color or anything like that? There's, a, there's a many, yeah, many colors. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, it's, it's hard to describe all the colors, but the, uh, the actual physical experience of it shaking through my body, mm -hmm. you know, because it, it, was, just, it, was, it was definitely... Uh, a mass of, of uh, energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the green and the blue are, are more soothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The red is activating. Mm -hmm. well, what's happening now? What do you see? Well, I, I'm just allowing a, a gold to uh, run through my system right now. Mm -hmm. a, a golden, thicker. Um, substance to uh, calm mm -hmm. the nervous system. Mm -hmm. I'd like to invite any other high beings to support you with this so that it can be easy and smooth. I'd like to call in Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. Very good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'll help you to calm your nervous system. Can we continue talking while they help? Yes. Very yes, good. Yes, very fine. And so what's happening now, what you see? I, I, I've just seen the, the presence of the angels. Mm. Very good. Well, now let's close this scene and move forward in that lifetime to another scene that has information for you. Be there now and tell me what you see. Oh, I saw a desert. Apples. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the, that came about. I, mm -hmm. I don't know what that was. The vastness of oh, Egypt. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think it's Egypt. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? What do you see? Mm -hmm. It was a great awakening. It was a great excitement in, in the air mm -hmm. and in the land. What's so exciting? I think there's so many changes on the earth. The ones who've been waiting for <laughs> are all the in a relief of, mm -hmm. of their prayers being answered of some mm -hmm. kind. 
Some kind of things are happening on the earth. Oh, there's been a, a reckoning of, of energy mm -hmm. to um, to create a better, uh, more lasting planet mm -hmm. with uh, light and love. <laughs> is what it mm -hmm. is made of, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that that's exciting for many of us who see that it's time for more of it to be known. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? Hmm. I'm out of body. Mm -hmm. You're out of body? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I have to say, mm -hmm. oh, I'm detached from that life. Mm -hmm. Where are you now? It's spaciousness up inside me. I'm excited as I return to my home planet. Mm -hmm. What do you call this place? I, I, it's a pleading mm -hmm. land. Mm -hmm. It's my it's my soul family, mm -hmm. and uh, it's always nice to be home mm -hmm. <laughs> and be together. What's happening there? What's it like to be like there at home? Oh, it's healing because the, the love is so strong. You know, it's been going on for such a long time. It's a healing and it's part of my work. Mm -hmm. What's your work? My work is to bring these energies into the planet mm -hmm. in a very specific way of in through the physical body. Mm -hmm. It's a third dimensional relationship. Mm -hmm. That's important mm -hmm. to have through the densities to mm -hmm. have this love and light be able to uh, reach Gaia mm -hmm. now in our, our waking moments in this most difficult density. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. It's, and it's also not any longer to be so much what I consider the Palladium. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not really, our, our titles are not needed anymore mm -hmm. as we're merging our soul groups together and mm -hmm. in, in helping here on Earth. Mm -hmm. This evolution. Tell me more about that process, this merging. Oh, well, whether it's Arcturian or Syrian or Niran or Feline or whatever the the group uh, consciousness is, it's not so much the label as it is um, the same message. Mm. And the message is what? Um, the love. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and the oneness and the unity that the planet was created to become. Mm -hmm. um, more of letting go of what we thought this free will <laughs> meant or was to be used for. A different vibration of Gaia. She's changed in mm -hmm. the, the cosmic What are you experiencing here? Well, I went way out to, into a, a universe laws. Well, tell me what's happening as it happens. Well, I, I, I just, all of a sudden, I'm popped into a different. It, it was kind of dark all around me, not frightening, but I just, all of a sudden, my consciousness was talking in a universal language. Mm -hmm. They don't have words in there that, that I use on the planet. Mm -hmm. Would you like to share some of the words? Mm -hmm. You can speak the language if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Let's see what comes. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
sweet. Hmm. What's happening now? What do you see? What's happening? Stay in my body. Mm -hmm. With my body, with my book, my my vehicle of light mm -hmm. as I travel. Mm -hmm. Sometimes those popping out aren't helpful mm -hmm. without acknowledging and having in place the uh, grid uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of my own essence. Mm -hmm. The Merkaba is kind of shaking around me, mm -hmm. like activating me. Mm -hmm. It's crystal. Mm. What do you know about your Merkaba? Uh, it has a lot of angles of um, triangles within mm. it. And there's like light on each corner mm -hmm. as it moves. Mm -hmm. And it's a twirl, twirly field mm -hmm. that, that activates inside of me. And there's many different kinds of shapes. I'm not so sure what all of them mean. Mm -hmm. We'll feel into them. Well, they're, they're definitely protection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They move mm -hmm. quite a bit. Mm -hmm. They shift with color <laughs> mm -hmm. and sound. Very good. Let's learn a little bit more. Let's close this scene and move either forward or backward in time and space. We're looking for the most appropriate time to look at. When I count to three, you'll be there. One, moving to a new time and a new place. Two, almost there. Three, you've now arrived. <laughs> what do you see there? No, I see a family. Mm -hmm, a yes. family? Yeah, it's a family of, of people who enjoy each other. Mm. They've learned to love mm -hmm. fully with each other. Mm -hmm. And that it's an earth family. Mm -hmm. It seems earthy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's still spongier mm -hmm. than the, because everything talks, <laughs> and there's nothing that is not alive mm -hmm. in the place. And mm -hmm. what do you see? Describe it to me. Oh, but you know when you step on the ground, it it talks back at mm -hmm. you. It likes being touched that way by your feet, mm -hmm. and it's it's giggly. <laughs> <laughs> it's really sweet. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of sweetness in, in this vision and in this family and this yeah. time. I look down at your feet in the grass yeah. and tell me what you see. Oh, I'm barefoot. In your barefoot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have normal human feet. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the, yeah, I'm barefoot because that's how we talk to the earth. Mm -hmm. A lot. And scan up your body and tell me what else you notice. Mm. Are you male or female? I'm female. You're female? Yeah. Young or old? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm young, mm -hmm. but not too old. I do... I do not have children, mm -hmm. but there are many children there. Mm -hmm. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a, a belt. I know that. I have a belt on. It, the clothes are flowing. They're flowing. The fabric is, is made of a, a material that lets you breathe. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing synthetic. It's mm -hmm. kind of soft on your body. Mm -hmm. It actually becomes part of your body. Mm -hmm. And um, it, you can cool and heat yourself. As you wish. Mm, that feels nice. It's very nice. There isn't any. Uh, there's no problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really, it, there are things to work out, but uh, with so many open hearts, it, it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. What a lovely thing. Mm, it's so nice. It, it's, a, it's a world that I want to live in. Uh huh. I guess I will. <laughs> <laughs> How nice. Yeah. Mm, what are you doing there? Oh, I'm active with, um, I think we're working on some kind of energy system that's coming from the middle of Earth and then 
helping uh, heal mm -hmm. a lot of uh, some of uh, the things that have happened here. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of things happened there? Well, there was a ha there was a restructuring, mm -hmm. and in that restructuring, some of the, the things that were so um, needing to be uh, recycled have been now. They've been recycled, mm -hmm. and they're, they're in their rightful place. And in that recycling, there now uh, the movement is to uplift the new technologies and ways we can create. It's very vast because it doesn't just require. A, oh, there's so many beings that are from different places here. Tell me about them. Oh gosh, they're oh they're uh, very tall. Some of them are so tall that they're they're like. Um, the tallest basketball player I've ever seen. Those <laughs> real, real thin legs. But they're very kind, you know. Mm -hmm. you know. As you walk around and you look at a dog that's very small and you look down, it's just the same feeling I have looking up to them. <laughs> you know, they're nice, you know, and, and you feel very a little, mm -hmm. but not in stature, mm -hmm. just in your physical form. Mm -hmm. I love seeing so many different physical forms. Mm -hmm. you know, Describe some of them. Oh, some of them are bird-like mm -hmm. and blue mm -hmm. and aquatic and, and sparkly. Mm -hmm. There's so much to know about, so many other uh, places to be mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. on, on this planet, and they come from far away. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. I want you now to stand in front of the place that you live in that lifetime. And tell me what you see. Stand in front of the place that you live in that lifetime. Well, it's kind of like, I would say they were glass windows, but it's more crystal windows. Mm -hmm. Crystal. Crystal windows? Windows. Uh, and it was, it was like the whole structure was kind of crystalline. Mm -hmm. It faces, I mean, there's water and waterfalls. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And go inside mm -hmm. and tell me what it's like inside. Spacious. Spacious. Warm. Mm -hmm. um, inviting. And what kind of things are in there? Well, there's there's all kinds of connections you can make with other uh, planetary systems. and mm -hmm. or, or they wouldn't be called planetary, but universal systems. Mm -hmm. I don't know all the terms. So, but you, you can connect to many mm -hmm. different places mm -hmm. for help and connect and an awareness of, I don't know why we're doing everything now. Mm -hmm. Well, feel into yeah. it. Why are you doing it? Why, why is this all so, well, because our souls like it. Because <laughs> <laughs> we enjoy it. Because we're creative beings and we get to experience this. It's the kind of creation we always wanted to create. Mm -hmm. only, only back in those first pictures, but we got a little stuck. Mm. This is the way it was supposed to be, because there's no, there's no um, disharmony. Mm. There's, there's learning. There's a lot of learning to do with, with each other, but we have the capacity set up within our bodies mm. to be able to handle such dramatic um, differences mm. in the other beings. Mm -hmm. We had to change so that you could handle them. Oh, we have to be able to, well, you have to be able to accept, mm -hmm. you know, our, first our own incredible, beautiful experiences of our own galactic universe called each individual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a sovereignty thing, but also it's not thinking everybody has to have a nose mm -hmm. or two eyes to be okay. You know, that, that. It's getting rid of some of those beliefs we had that only a, a human being must look a certain way. And mm -hmm. We've started to do that in our now moments mm -hmm. on the planet, but you know, we still get caught up in very silly things like what color skin do you have? <laughs> that is, and then to say it's wrong? <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so far. Skin colors are so beautiful. And, and when, when you see beings who have maybe just uh, tentacles, 
It, there's no need to have any fear that that's wrong or bad or it's going to get you. It's it's part of all of us mm. to explore the beauty of creation. Mm. That's what I'm really enjoying. It's so light. Mm. So, oh yeah, I like living there. And you can change your houses if you want to. You don't have to keep the same house. If you feel like it's time that you want to be in a cave for a while, mm -hmm. then you go and live in that. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's so free to to explore. I mean, we do know. I mean, we can still see that there's plant, there's challenges. Mm -hmm. What kind of challenges are there? Well, not all races and not all beings um, have the same desire for unity. Mm -hmm. They're working on that. Mm -hmm. The ones who are working on it are there. Mm -hmm. And they have contact with others who don't want to work on it at all. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. that they're there, but they, mm -hmm. the, their energy or their, mm, their soul intention is still known and mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. you know, for me. And how do you work with these beings that don't want unity consciousness? Well, it, they're not allowed to um, be in the place that I live. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what we're, we're working with is um, what we can do to help. Mm -hmm. You know, they have to do their own work. And some of them really, they've lost their planets and their, their homes and their, 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 their abilities. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they've ever had heart-centered connections, maybe it's not theirs to experience. Mm -hmm. But it is, is of interest to us to know how they uh, evolve too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we know that unity is the way mm -hmm. to love, mm -hmm. and love is unity, so um, mm -hmm. it is our work you know, to mm -hmm. continue to help. Well, what makes this transition in this age different than the one in Egypt and the one before that? Well, I think it's these beings that will be showing us uh, more of our our innate goodness mm -hmm. that we can't uh, that we seem to get stuck in mm -hmm. because of our own programming. Mm -hmm. You know, and it and they show us this not by being our gods anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, we used to look to all things that happened outside of our bodies, whether it was in the religions and, and uh, you know, ways in, in the teachings of the earth, mm -hmm. or uh, the solar beings that we thought were gods, or, you know, because they had come from different places and had higher technologies than mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. You know, it, we're friends with each other. Mm -hmm. We are peers, and we, we can laugh and and then they're even dancing together, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. So that's that's a a good sign that you, we don't quake with fear of, of someone mm -hmm. having dominion over us. We should listen mm -hmm. to them. We need to open up our own you know, creativity. Mm -hmm. Some people believe that what we would call these gods, these star beings, came and at some point enslaved humanity. Is that part of the story? Oh yeah, that's there too. That's kind of what the ones that are now um, we watch and try to help. And there, there was enslavement and there was choice and there was... Yeah, you can look at it. That, that, that is part of the slice, mm -hmm. one of the slices of the perspectives. Mm -hmm. There's more to it than that. Mm -hmm. But yes, there was a I would say uh, mm -hmm. it's not benevolent <laughs> at all. Mm -hmm. You know, I, it, there's nothing in, in the, the goodness seed of the takeover, but the desire for those beings to have a life mm -hmm. is is you know understandable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And. This is where a lot of the earth um, is waking from. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's in the bones and in the DNAs of the human form. Mm -hmm. And so that's there's a lot of shaking and mm -hmm. shifting in that to mm -hmm. release that in mm -hmm. this time. Mm -hmm. 
but those beings are, are you, you actually, oh, I see, some of those beings were just caught in between, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's like when you work for a, a CEO that is a monster, mm -hmm. who wants more and more and more, and you are underneath that, and you want a life, and you're not sure how else to do it. Mm -hmm. So once that CEO is fired or or mm -hmm. something, then you have more freedom to uh, express in the way that you know is real. Mm -hmm. So a lot of beings, even though it's painful and, and crazy, a lot of beings are being freed mm -hmm. from that mm -hmm. energy uh, mm -hmm. takeover mm -hmm. over. So um, beings like the Anunnaki, are they part of this world? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see that. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, they're part of creating certain things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everyone's working together. Yes. Mm, wonderful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only way that you can work out anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's what the other beings from other lifetimes, old places in the galaxy, the councils are that we're putting together now, are are becoming more more interested in the human being mm -hmm. since our evolution was at a place where mm -hmm. we can hold more in our bodies without uh, exploding <laughs> into light, you know, yeah. and not exploding into deep, deep sadness, mm -hmm. but exploding into the light of our, our, our presence. Mm -hmm. To hold these physical forms in this dimension, it, it, it's taking a lot to change mm -hmm. the structure. So what's so interesting about the human being now? What's happening? It's becoming a light being of creative possibilities for each individual as they open up their hearts and realize they don't need others to tell them what to do or how to be, but it's all within their own codex. Mm -hmm. Their DNA is expanding back to the 12 crystalline structures that it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. And see, in that takeover or in that uh, darker time, mm -hmm. they, they had to shrink. And, and they got tight, and actually some of them, some of our, our energies were siphoned off mm -hmm. for somebody else's pleasure. Mm -hmm. And that's not... Who siphoned the about. energies off? Oh, well, we talk about them as the... Uh, you could say the Anunnaki, or the, the beings from other... Uh, they don't really respect human beings very well. <laughs> they think we are very stupid mm -hmm. <laughs> and and that we are more food than mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I, I laugh about it now because I'm not feeling that mm -hmm. being eaten by them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's happened. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we continue it in the, our human bodies. Mm -hmm. It's like we, we can... I have people rationalize why you can eat a pig or a cow, and if you if you actually harvest that animal, you would know they feel great pain. Mm -hmm. They don't want to die, so it, it's the same in different ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's the same fractal, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should say. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't I don't accuse people. It's not about you know changing behavior patterns. It really isn't. It's, a, it's about opening your heart to mm -hmm. the codex of your own DNA yeah. molecules. It's, it's, and once you open, things will fall away. And mm -hmm. It's not a struggle with will. Mm -hmm. And how do people open up to their DNA? Oh, well, they tell their stories. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a very easy one that has been happening, but so much of what got caught in the, the way we've been doing it is it got into a loop, a story loop of suffering, mm -hmm. which is part of the story, but it's not the most important part anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, the most important part is to forgive yourself mm -hmm. in the creation of that story. Your part in it, whether it be victim or perpetrator or or both, which is really true of mm -hmm. all of us. And owning all of our emotions as being 
mm -hmm. a gift mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to unwrap, mm -hmm. you know, and, and in that unwrapping, that, that's where the magic of that DNA activation can happen. Mm -hmm. So it's through the, through the telling of the whole story, the perpetrator and victim being really honest, deeply honest about the experience and what you learned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Owning, owning that. Mm -hmm. It's owning your bloodline. And then when you own your bloodline, then you can cleanse it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been afraid to to own our bloodline because of the fear of what we've seen happen mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. And the ownership, the over-ownership we take of all things that happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Very good. Mm -hmm. What are you seeing there now? What's happening? Oh, I was, do it, it, they, I was doing some... I was getting some work done mm -hmm. in my stomach area mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about speaking the truth. Mm, you wonderful. Know, it, 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 it gets stuck tight sometimes yeah. in me. Yeah. In learning to use my voice and my understandings in this new way. Wonderful. Well, let's close this scene. Take a nice full breath into your body. Relax in the vessel completely. Mm -hmm. Totally letting go. And now let's move forward to another scene in that lifetime that has information. Be there now and tell me what you see. I see a capsule of tubes. Mm -hmm. Kind of look at a liquid or a gel. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, we travel. Mm -hmm. We can. Oh, I like that. I like not having to take an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me all about it. Yeah, well, there's some kind of a place. It's, it's almost a pot kind of experience. Mm -hmm. You can travel through um, time and space and arrive at the destination you want to be at mm -hmm. without, um, without any difficulty. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like seeing that and feeling that. That's, that's really nice because we meet up in so many different places now than mm -hmm. how we used to. On the planet, mm -hmm. we would uh, fly to one part or the other part of the the country to take a seminar or to give one, and mm -hmm. whatever we did. And now it's it's much. We don't even have to actually leave, but we choose to sometimes to teleport ourselves in different mm -hmm. areas. Mm -hmm. And how did that ability come in? For mm -hmm. humanity, how did that come online again? Oh well, as, as everyone's opening their hearts with these um, these frequencies of, uh, of opening your DNA and your your birthright, actually mm -hmm. knowing more about who you really are, mm -hmm. um, others can others from other uh, solar systems and, mm -hmm. and multiverse uh, were able to help us with technologies. Oh, that's nice. Yes, yes, we share. We have the same interests. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have shared those. Things. It's nice to come together in oneness like this. Oh, it, it is so nice. It mm -hmm. is what we've all wanted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So you're traveling around now? Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I had just come back from one of, it, it, what was it? It's kind of an asteroid, I think. Mm -hmm. Something. Uh, there's a lot of places that are. are, are are helping with the healing process mm -hmm. on the planet, mm -hmm. and I, I help with that as well. Mm -hmm. and, I, I, and physically, sometimes people need a physical reassurance from a physical body mm -hmm. of their their next steps and their ascension and their um, life purpose. See, it's it's different now on the earth because people aren't here that don't want to be here, mm -hmm. and that that's a a new and a free thing. Because there was a time when you talked about being trapped, kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, people couldn't move around. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they kept feeling they had to do the same old thing. Mm -hmm. and that's called slavery. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when, when, when that energy is um, completely removed, uh, it, it gives everybody the freedom to travel. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That's got to be feeling really good then. It feels very, oh, it, 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 the bodies are so much lighter mm -hmm. and they don't have the uh, the weight or the, the density that, that
that is crushing. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's always about what what beautiful thing am I going to do today mm-hmm. and, and experience, and uh, what challenge will I meet? Mm-hmm. And the, the vitality is always there because of all the uh, the gifts those others from other um, other other tribes beyond our our uh, Gaia have mm-hmm. have offered us mm-hmm. and their knowledge. Because it's it's us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's it's a very funny way of of seeing ourselves. We're multi. We're so multi-dimensional mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this world. Um, uh, is there food or people eating? If you like, mm-hmm. I like. <laughs> I mean, I like at first. I mean, it, it's not necessary, mm-hmm. but it's it, it's again enjoying enjoying taste. And mm-hmm. so of course, you, you're eating with things that want to be eaten. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's that's nice. If they, if you ask if they enjoy it too. <laughs> you don't you don't want to disrupt anybody, mm-hmm. anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but the plants and the animals are different in this place. Mm-hmm. In what way? Oh, they don't. They they because they can talk and express. Um, uh, they're peers too, in a way. Mm-hmm. You know, they're they're not on their own. They have there's a lot of fairy beings and, mm-hmm. and they're evolving mm-hmm. and learning how to be with Kai as well. Mm-hmm. And and a lot of them, you know, are, love their jobs of being there for us. Some of the foods that we eat, they're, they're so happy that we can uh, taste their nuts, mm-hmm. and, you know, the fruits and the vegetables, and, and they taste good. Mm-hmm. It's not necessary, though, because there's so much coming in from just the light. And, mm-hmm. um, I like water, mm-hmm. you know, like that. So there is like um, nourishment from the light and from water? And from water. Mm-hmm. And I don't see so much of the need for, for chemicals. Like mm-hmm. You know, something to soothe you, mm-hmm. remedies to mm-hmm. soothe you in the same way. Mm-hmm. I, they're there, but they're they're just more enlivened in mm-hmm. in the structure of the body. I mm-hmm. think that mm-hmm. than you know, right now, it, we need the outside in sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this in this little world, it's the inside out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you can crave anything. Then people don't get too judgmental. You know, there's some some kind of crazy things that I, I'm not that interested in that are happening mm-hmm. also. Like what? Oh, like, I don't, I don't know what the group, they're kind of a, a hairier group. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And I, I wouldn't say barbaric, but, you know, uh, the way they play is... is um, is, is is more earthy than, mm-hmm. than, than it's a bit rough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, rough and kind of um, more drooped. They're kind of like uh, I think they've come from inside the earth. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the inner earth beings. When did they start coming in? What was that like? The core. They pray. They pray a lot for us. Mm-hmm. Here, you know that's that's. That's an area that's being mined right now. Mm-hmm. Somehow there are a lot of things that are going on out of the crust in, in, in certain areas, of, mm-hmm. in the colder area region. Just that. So are you talking too. about present time, Lee? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Mm-hmm. But I'm not in the present time, mm-hmm. which makes me be able to look at it and not be so scared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any fear in my yeah. body of it. In if I. So you're able to see in all times and timelines? Are you you're able yeah. to see in different ways? Yeah, I can do that. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like a, a having a scope mm-hmm. and and you just kind of turn it one direction and see something else. Mm-hmm. I'm learning how to do that better. Nice. That's a capacity we all have mm-hmm. as as we come online mm-hmm. with it. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I I appreciate it because it helps me with my uh, nervous system. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, the beings that are waking me up now, some of them are being kind of pulled out, mm-hmm. and that's a little. It's a little. It's a little. It makes some rumblings in the earth because mm-hmm. they're they're afraid, mm-hmm. and that that makes me sad. But it, it's also they've had choices. Mm-hmm. Everyone has has made some choices. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, where are they being pulled out? They're afraid mm -hmm. to show themselves. Mm -hmm. They're, you know, they need help too. Yeah. But it's not, they can't hide anymore. Nothing yeah. can hide here anymore. And so you have to be, uh, you know, when I say pulled out, it's kind of like the light is shining. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that makes sense. And then, and then it, that it hurts their, their eyes because they can't see the light because they can't see it in themselves. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of. It's just the way it is. But there are, it's a be beautiful place in there, the earth, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's it like in there? It's it's like a whole world. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think that it's dark down there? No, there's fountains and light and there's things growing. It's it's a whole world in there mm -hmm. where beings live. They're very, they're very shy. You know, not, they're not shy, they're just... They know that's not time to let too many people know about them <laughs> because it, it, of what happens, you know, when it, what happens when people see things that are are lovely is uh, if they they don't have their own heart open, yeah. they try to take it. You know? Yeah, yeah. What are some of the other abilities that are developing in the human being at that time? In our now moment, or inside the earth now? Mm. In this, uh, what we could call a future time in the earth, where all the technologies are available, and uh, oh yeah, when all the other beings are there on the earth, yeah, what's developing in the human being? What's coming online? Well, it, it's it's a galaxy in itself, mm -hmm. and so some of the things is you you don't need medical attention mm -hmm. because you will hear inside yourself what to do mm -hmm. and with the help of others other beings mm -hmm. and other information coming through human beings you don't have to go to a hospital you you just need to maybe lay in the crystal room or, or be touched by certain other beings in, in loving song, mm -hmm. you know, in, in, in tones, mm -hmm. and you can come back into your mind more. Mm -hmm. But you're going to, you have so many more choices mm -hmm. in your, how you want your physical to work, mm -hmm. how you want to interact, who mm -hmm. you want to interact with. Mm -hmm. we, we can't do it all, because mm -hmm. there's so many different dimensions to experience. So mm -hmm. you, you make these cho choices, it's kind of like going to school, mm -hmm. you, you chose a major, or mm -hmm. if you did, you know, mm -hmm. something like that, you, you say, oh, I, would, I would like to study with this group for a while, mm -hmm. or I, I want to learn more about my myself as a, a different form of being, mm -hmm. uh, how much of that, and so we're going to be creating our own, our own race. Uh, but it's not even a race because it's so fluid. Mm -hmm. I guess it would be called the human race. Too. Mm -hmm. We're just able to more master our creative vehicle. It sounds yeah, like mm -hmm. change forms, change yes. locations, mm -hmm. change languages, change. Visit. We'll be visiting other places in space and inside the earth, just like we do now mm -hmm. when we go to Boston for the holidays or mm -hmm. something, you mm -hmm. know, it, it'd be that common. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Has the earth's crust physically moved by this point? Yeah, it's a different shape. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. That had to happen with, it had to happen with some of the things that were going on inside the earth, as well as our galactic sun. And, Everything had to kind of turn inside out, mm -hmm. so to speak, mm -hmm. in, inside of our, ourselves, too. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, it's, I don't see it in any fear in any way. Mm -hmm. um, I know. Now, I know now I'm in, a, in such a place of seeing that mm -hmm. I don't feel the fear. Because <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the earthly body, yeah. Coming in. Mm -hmm. Do I, where should I move to? You know, that's the question. Mm -hmm. it, it, all the human beings, I think, are feeling is like as this crust is moving, as a, as we shift and turn, where's the safe place? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and how do people find safety? 
they have to have their hearts open and they have to be open for that. Mm -hmm. There are many, in many, many ways that mm -hmm. mind safety and toll of the ships mm -hmm. you know, and in the night. I think mm -hmm. not really ships, it's just energy bubbles. Or, mm -hmm. I don't know. It, there's places that we can go. Mm -hmm. So you were able, so some humans were able to get onto these ships at different times, and I, well, I think that they're there just for the chaos mm -hmm. that will ensue if there's too much chaos in the nervous system. It's mm -hmm. not that people don't deserve the birthright of this, this higher dimension, but during the chaos, it brings up so much in our bones and yeah. about all of the chaos from the other time mm -hmm. this has happened. Yeah. It's not an easy mm -hmm. remembering, and in that remembering, to hold space to have no judgment mm -hmm. uh, is taking a lot mm -hmm. bandwidth mm -hmm. <laughs> in frequency for, for for me and for many. Mm -hmm. To uh, was there ever a solar event, like a flash of any kind? Mm -hmm. Well, for, for me, it's been happening for so long, mm -hmm. this, this event of flashing, and it's, it's almost like you, you're walking in a new world every day. Mm -hmm. And so if you've been doing it for a long time, I don't know if there was one single event that happened, mm -hmm. because it happens all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it, it, it will become stronger because of the t intensity. Mm -hmm. So I think that will oh, yeah. there will be mm, as, as this the political arena is really what's actually showing the way mm. for this event. Mm, tell me about that. Um, the the way it's um, oh, not isolating, dis splitting, mm -hmm. kind of dividing instead of bringing together mm -hmm. right now on the planet. That's actually what, what will show us our most uh, important information on how to bring together our own self, They're our own, no, it's not about owning, it's about our unity self. How does that work? Well, by being completely at opposite mm -hmm. with what we want. Mm -hmm. it, that opposite is showing us what we do want. Mm -hmm. And some of us are able to understand that you don't need the opposite anymore mm -hmm. to find that. We that, just know it. Yeah, it, it comes into our hearts. It's just like you don't have it. It's not in my field to feel opposition mm -hmm. of someone's views because they're coming from a completely different place. Mm -hmm. That's, a, that's a, They call it linear thinking, you know. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't have any. Boom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't bring anything exciting out. It's like yeah. a flat line, and so there'll be the flatliners that are still in that, mm -hmm. and they get they get to have the choice of you. Where do you want to go? Everyone's getting the choice of what do you want to do with your life. Mm -hmm. What's your purpose? Mm -hmm. uh, and how do you want to explore it? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of responsibility for the individual, so it takes a lot of um, love and mm -hmm. assistance from uh, those who have come before. Mm -hmm. That way we can do this together. Yeah. What are some of the other things that were happening as we began to change into the higher dimension? Well, the shedding of material things, mm -hmm. uh, the things that we felt were so important to us, mm -hmm. that was that's an experience. Like having our own cars, and 
having the best car or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, the view of our, how we are comforted. Mm-hmm. What we used to think of as comfortable or comforting or entertaining. Mm-hmm. It first goes very flat and people get scared about it. It's like, ah, oh, I can't feel anything because I'm not getting enjoyment out of it. Mm-hmm. So they rush to other remedies to try to find enjoyment. And really, it's not that they're not finding enjoyment. It's what they're finding enjoyment with is changing. Mm. And so it's just kind of like, you know, when you're taking off your pants and putting a new pair on, there's a time in between when neither one is on. (laughs) (laughs) So so we're learning how to remove those things, you know, or let go of them without grabbing them back and saying that that's what I need. So, Mm. yeah, there's a lot of uh, the comfort features that we've got ourselves. Mm. Mm-hmm. And and living communally, it it would be by choice, mm-hmm. you know, and it's not under a religious construct or, um, mm-hmm. you know, uh, it's under the, the laws that mm-hmm. come on Gaia. Mm-hmm. How does the spirituality change in the higher dimension? You know, we we come back into appreciating um, ritual, mm. ritual and 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 connection. Uh, more in the naive way. Mm-hmm. They, they will. They actually will lead the way. They mm-hmm. always have. Mm-hmm. They have the secrets of the earth guys. Information on that. Um, not that it's secret anymore, but that it's been um, limited to just those who can hear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rightfully. Uh, but yeah, it will. We'll come into more sacred community mm-hmm. events that. That are heartful, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and and honoring. Mm-hmm. Very good. Now I want to close that scene. Close that scene, and I want to invite the higher self of Connie to come into the body now, her ascended self and all of her guides and teachers to come in and to work with us so that we can create, co-create the highest healing and expansion for her today. May I speak with Connie's higher self? Yes. Wonderful. Thank Thank you you so much. Yes. (laughs) Thank you. Yeah. Um, So I'm wondering what the purpose was to show, um, well, the first scene was a... the golden age at some point with these technologies that were creating separation for human beings. Why did you show this to her and to us? I was working with Connie's um, separation Mm -hmm. and uh, guilt in those ties. Mm. Of her role and her view of her role Mm -hmm. in that time and how that created a a wave of uh, mistrust Mm -hmm. for her. That wasn't uh, necessary, but happened. Mm-hmm. You know, it was it was the truth for her now. So mm-hmm. For her to see that and, and to feel into that, yeah, mm-hmm. I was. I look at that as helping her mm-hmm. release. Mm-hmm. And how has that been affecting her life now as Connie? In, in her relationships mm-hmm. with, with men, mm-hmm. in her relationships with um, the Supreme. Mm-hmm. The source mm-hmm. with her own physical uh, abilities to think and her heart to love. You know, all of that was affected by those days in um, Egypt. Mm-hmm. Egypt. And what was the other civilization, the one with the technologies? Mm-hmm. Do we know that now in modern times? Did those people call themselves something? Yeah. Well, she, she prayed so many together. I can't get the name. You can spell it if you'd like. Oh, 
Aurora. I'm hearing, I hear her prayers. I do not know where this is. Mm -hmm. Is there somebody around that does know the name of this place and the civilization? You can ask somebody else. It's not exposed at this time. Okay, very good. Now, what about the time in, hmm, well, before we move on from that, you were saying that you were wanting to show her some wounds that started around that time regarding the masculine and her relationships. Can you work with her energetically now to clear those from her system? Yes, we can. Very good. What do you do to clear that? I'm, I'm putting some pressure that is actually... Uh, through breath mm -hmm, mm -hmm. into her organ area. Mm -hmm. I started with her um, liver mm -hmm. and spleen. Mm -hmm. Very good. Can you keep doing that while I ask other questions? Yes, Wonderful. Can. Now, what about the lifetime in Egypt? Why did you show that one to her? She's still uh, removing some of the DNA. Uh, misuse mm -hmm. from her body so to see that for her it will help her know that that is uh, being released mm -hmm. and what was the how is she misusing her dna uh, by along, going along with experiments mm -hmm. and even though she knew it was not uh, she felt it might be wrong mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Staying quiet mm -hmm. is her guilt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, that needed to be seen so she can not be sad in her, in, in her desires to uh, be more available. Yeah, good. So can you work there now on all dimensions of her being to clear that? Yes. Wonderful. I think the next thing that we saw was um, the Pleiadian lands. Mm -hmm. Why did you show her the Pleiadian lands? As she has asked to go home mm -hmm. to be reunited uh, and mm -hmm. we have agreed that that's going to be valuable for her. Mm -hmm. um, so that uh, journey was sufficient for her? She will continue to make those journeys. No, oh, beautiful. Yes. <laughs> And it was also shared that she um, brings in a certain frequency from the Pleiades into Gaia at this time, that it's very important. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. She was learning to tone her, uh, her abilities to create that light mm -hmm. within herself and for others. Is there a way that we can um, open her vessel to be able to pull in more or, or do it in a way that's um, but this is so that there's a free flowing frequency through her into the earth. Yeah. Wonderful. What are you doing to make that happen? Well, I'm moving um, her spine for a little bit right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, she likes there's more of a kundalini for her that can be adjusted and, and helped with. Mm -hmm. And you're doing that now? Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. And then we went to, um, it seems like in linear time, it was a future Earth experience after the dimensional shifts. And she was working with energy that was within the Earth, and she was having a really good time there. Yes. Yeah. Why yeah. did you show that to her? She experiences that, yes, mm -hmm. she loves that, but this is what helps her stay focused mm -hmm. on being on the planet still, because mm -hmm. in these timelines, she has had options mm -hmm. and how far she wants to, to 
continue in her physical. Mm -hmm. She's interested, Pam is interested in, in timelines, and that is one of the pictures I could show her of that timeline. Mm -hmm. which was, you know, so in some way it encourages her to keep going? Yes, <laughs> yes to not get discouraged <laughs> by other things that she might see. Mm -hmm. I think there's many of us here that have been awake for some time or whatever, and we and might get discouraged sometimes or feel like it's far off. What do you have to share with us about that? To, to focus on the very, the very thing you're doing in the moment mm -hmm. and see it full of sparkles. <laughs> Just see the housework and the dust going in, in sparkles and, and, and laughter and, and joy. That, that helps to um, keep the connection. Mm -hmm. Alive. Allow yourself to rest. Allow yourself to not be pulled mm -hmm. by others' feelings. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself the right to have your own ideas. And no one needs to change them mm -hmm. or fix them. Mm -hmm. So be present in the moment. Let it sparkle, let it shine. Yeah. yeah. Whether it's dust or, yes. Even the smoke. Um, it was really wonderful. We had some times that were so smoky, and Khan saw it as the mist of Babylon. Mm -hmm. And the great wonder of the unknown, or the protection maybe from something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, but even those images help bring that to life. Mm -hmm. Very good. Unfortunately, seems like a long time in the human form mm -hmm. because of your time and space constructs mm -hmm. and they're changing rapidly too there's more spaciousness and less time mm -hmm. and because of that it feels like you are waiting a long time for something mm -hmm. when in our scene there is nothing <laughs> but time and so it's hard for us to have knowledge of that Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I understand that. I'm wondering, let me see if I had some other questions there in regards to that. I'm going to do a body scan of Connie from head to toe, all layers of her, ex her existence, her beingness, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and beyond. And I want any healing that's done for her today to also be done on any aspects outside of herself um, to create the highest optimal healing for all parts of herself in all time and space. Is this appropriate? Thank you for this. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want you to do a body scan and tell me what's happening as you do it. What do you find? Mm. Connie's third eye has been moved. Uh, is expanding mm -hmm. and sore mm -hmm. from that expansion. It's affecting her eyes, mm -hmm. uh, behind her eye, mm -hmm. and how she sees the world. Mm -hmm. In what way? Um, instead of seeing out, it's, it's the requirement now is more seeing in, mm -hmm. letting everything come in to her. Wonderful. And what are you doing to balance it? Well, there's some... Uh, the back of the eye... Uh, there, it has light mm -hmm. that comes through it. Mm -hmm. and some of the cones or rods have not, uh, are not picking up mm -hmm. the frequencies as well as there's some filters and through the pineal. Mm -hmm. Why is that happening? Yeah. What's the cause of that? Well, th that's her resistance to mm -hmm. uh, fully embodying uh, her light. Mm. And what's that resistance coming from? It's coming from fear. Mm -hmm. and the fear of being seen without uh, support. Mm -hmm. is and this this is the reason we have shown her some of these lifetimes for her, which 
and to realize the sport is always there mm -hmm. and that she does not need to be she does not need to feel alone mm -hmm. in it mm -hmm. and, and that that is helping me mm -hmm. wonderful and there's a place above the third eye that is her uh, it's another me mechanism mm -hmm. above the third eye. It's a, a filter, mm -hmm. and, and that helps her with um, seeing so many perspectives mm -hmm. on the same issue. Well, there's some people call this a transducer. Oh, it's, I've heard yeah. that called before. Yeah. Are there other of those uh, filter type things within her field that can be turned on today to filter other energies? Um. There are new ones coming up uh, online. Mm -hmm. I, I will see. It has. There's something in the jaw or the ear, mm -hmm. behind the ear, around the head. Mm -hmm. There's those uh, pictal bones. There's bones back there that mm -hmm. might be able to, in their shifting, will help. Open more in the crown. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do that yes. if it's appropriate. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'd also like to invite any other dormant energy structures that are appropriate to bring online. I'd like you to do that if you can, as well as any upgrades to her fields, um, any repairs to her template overlays or blueprint, and just bring her up into the highest optimal technology that she can express herself through. What are you doing from these requests? Oh, it, well, I'm feeling them to the layers of the body mm -hmm. and out into the expanded auras mm -hmm. and, and her uh, Merkaba. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and, and, and seeing that those, uh, releasing some of the, from the spine, mm -hmm. uh, from the, uh, releasing some of the, um, the condensed uh, areas of love. Mm -hmm. That have um, kind of a coating around them of that guilt or that uh, feeling unworthy mm -hmm. pieces mm -hmm. that are kind of are now uh, they're moving off her spine out into her her field of energy mm -hmm. and then she can see them like a grid uh, and they can live further away in her body. Mm -hmm. And that way they dissipate. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I'd like to invite any other beings of light and cosmic shamans to come and work as we do this together today and just do any work that's appropriate for today. What else is showing up as you scan through the body? Oh, there's um, And the structure of the old form is so different than her new form coming on. Mm -hmm. That there's a lot of uh, work going on with just her motion and movement mm -hmm. as breath moves through the bones mm -hmm. and uh, opens out some of those uh, frequencies or those trapped energies mm -hmm. from not only her lifetime, mm -hmm. but for her conscious collective of being in service to others. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering what's going on with her right ear. So she has some hearing loss there. Oh, well, that is again part of that area to bring on more um, frequencies of understanding for her. Mm -hmm. That there's a uh, moves through the jaw, through her ear, part of it was her desire in those lifetimes to not hear mm -hmm. what her internal self soul was mm -hmm. saying. Mm -hmm. and, and that is part of the uh, numbing out mm -hmm. that she would feel now. Mm -hmm. So will she be able to have full hearing again in this life? Is that possible to help her with now? 
it is her decision. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things she wrote down today. Is it possible to regain hearing in my right ear? Oh, I guess the question I would ask her is, what is it you're not hearing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that once that is answered by her, mm -hmm. then what? she can free that. Mm -hmm. What's, what is she not hearing from your perspective? She is not believing mm -hmm. her purpose. Mm. Why is that? Why does she have this doubt? This interference with these past lives mm -hmm. and energy systems that have been involved with her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of these implants and things mm -hmm. that have uh, shut her mm -hmm. this chakra mm -hmm. from speaking. Mm -hmm. Are those implants still there? It is the one in the ear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What can we do to um, release her from these implants, any implants that she has that are keeping her blocked in any way. There's more. There's more for her as she continues heart opening. Mm -hmm. I can. She can ask directly, and much of what she's learning is to ask directly mm -hmm. for what she wants. Mm -hmm. Her asking before um, often carries the tones of those past lives of victim. Mm -hmm. And the true healing can't ha happen mm -hmm. until she surrenders. Mm -hmm. well, how can we help her do that today? What does she need to do to get into that full surrender and accepting her, her role here? Well, I think by showing her these places, it will help her not judge herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because she has been her hardest critic, of course. Mm -hmm. Well, you said you, it would help, too, if she was able to open her heart and drop her judgments. So I'm wondering if we can work with the heart field now to expand it and clear it. Yes. Mm -hmm. What can we do here? Mm. What can we do? <laughs> <laughs> we can do so much. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Well, we're spinning. Mm -hmm. We're spinning her field, and, mm -hmm. and she's spinning with it. It's... Um, it reaches through her to the core, mm -hmm. to the earth's crystalline core, out into the cosmos, actually to the galactic sun. Mm -hmm. There's a light that goes directly through. Mm -hmm. and it is her pathway. Mm -hmm. And then it spreads from there down her body mm -hmm. and up to the crown chakra. Mm -hmm. It moves very fast and very wide. Mm -hmm. So this is helping to open the heart? This is helping for her to want her heart open mm -hmm. all the way. Mm -hmm. The fear of seeing the past experiences mm -hmm. you know, keeps her hidden and just parts mm -hmm. her. Not much, but mm -hmm. enough to uh, need to be released. Mm -hmm. We can do that now. Wonderful. Go for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. We're going to have her breathe quite a bit right now. Okay. Is it okay if I do light language? Lovely. Yes, it would be lovely. Mm -hmm. 
त्यातको आहे तुमची लाल तोच नाही ते शमाता तूत को ते शमसात को नाही ते येता काय ते यमत को शमसाय शमसाव तो शमसार होय को को शम मी तकाऊ तो कोई शमिती वार वो को शमेते की का को ये तमाय ते शमस तकाम वो तो शमकता आहे ते शिवा तो को ते 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 आमो तो चिकाई बे तकाम तो शमायते क्या कोता है नु को मतोरा मा नियमो तो शमोत किया किया मु को मे दया नु ते यम माय Can you continue working here while we look at other places in her body? Yeah. Very good. She's wondering why her teeth in her right top jaw are sore. Clenching. Clenching. Why is she clenching? Some of her travels in, in uh, lucid dreaming or in the visions mm -hmm. uh, can cause disruptions with uh, Mm -hmm. with even those small heart closures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there a way that we can reinforce her body and energy fields so it's not affected by her travels? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, she, she can set up some um, rituals around going out. Mm -hmm and coming back that are clearer and not just not as sloppy <laughs> <laughs> would She's, you like to give some ideas uh, yes your before sleep moments you need to have uh, your calm and openness mm -hmm. and awareness that you do go into um, different dimensions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So music is good for her, her own song, her own tone. Mm -hmm. She's done a lot with changing her room and, and offering that softness, but as she's really owning her desire mm -hmm. and her purpose. More will be shown to her in these uh, outward activities. Mm -hmm. She can call, she has called more of them into her day work, mm -hmm. her day world. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are, we'd say that we have a great respect for the work she has done out there mm -hmm. because it's not some of the easier places to travel to mm -hmm. and she's questioning now in her soul journey if uh, uh, those still need to be traveled to mm -hmm. or if the body needs upgrades mm -hmm. this session will help mm -hmm. immensely in the upgrades mm -hmm. if she chooses to interact in those places mm -hmm. uh, that cause such a, uh, a dense density to her mm -hmm. physical form. Mm -hmm. What is her purpose in this life? You said you want her to own her purpose and her mm -hmm. desires more. She is here to show how to be embodied. Mm -hmm in a physical form mm -hmm. and have asked access mm -hmm. to greater dimensional existences. Mm -hmm. So it's a coming together of all lifetimes mm -hmm. in this one. Mm -hmm. And she's chosen to do this while she's alive. Mm -hmm. Speak up a little bit more. Well, what she has chosen 
to do this while she is living mm -hmm. in the body instead of leaving the body. Mm -hmm. It's her desire. Mm -hmm. And her purpose is to continue with the love and the light mm -hmm. in unity, mm -hmm. in, in the combined consciousness. Mm -hmm. Well, is there anything that she can do to be more fully in her purpose and living her desires? <laughs> well, laugh more. <laughs> laugh more mm -hmm. and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. she's, she's got less fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rightfully so, mm -hmm. as we see. We know what's happening, and we can understand it's a difficult time. But she used to dance more and, and laugh more, mm -hmm. and that, that can come back. Mm -hmm. We know she has delight. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. And continue with her connections to animals. It's mm -hmm. a very important one. Mm -hmm. She's learning a lot to do. Connie said that there's something happening in her right knee and ankle that she wants to address. Can you work there? Tell me what's happening. Mm. Yes, we have been working with that. Mm -hmm. Since she asked us to. Mm -hmm. What caused it? Moving too fast. Mm -hmm. Taking on more than she is hers, mm -hmm. which is her fear, and rightfully so. Mm -hmm. From her past, anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, she fell, you know, and once her she hit her hip. Mm -hmm. That there's a, there's a there's the result is knee and ankle. Mm -hmm. What's good for her to address is the fear of mm -hmm. being immobile. Mm -hmm. The fear of not having movement. Mm -hmm. Those come through. The fear of being handicapped. Mm -hmm. Those are the fears she was able to clear through this. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that we can clear so that she can have her full health in that leg and hip and again? Oh. Well, I, yes. Yes, we can do some things, mm -hmm. you know, because we can see some things that will help her. Yeah. And she can continue. Uh, we would suggest that she be careful with her yoga mm -hmm. and overextending. She's very stretchy. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't. There we go. Mm, that's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, We've been advising her, and she's taking our advice of breathing through areas of tightness and not pushing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's working well. Mm -hmm. Good. So we can do some healing there on the knee and the ankle? Yes. Wonderful. We also want to ask about the retainers that she wears at night. Are these good for her to wear again? Well, they keep her teeth straight mm -hmm. and if she feels she needs a night off from them mm -hmm. do take the night off because mm -hmm. something else is going in mm -hmm. um, unfortunately in this planet at this time we don't know much about what the teeth are doing mm -hmm. they're not even bone they're cartilage mm -hmm. and, uh, they do need to move. They have a way of their own mm -hmm. in connecting and uh, bringing in light. Mm -hmm. uh, our sound comes through them. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just want her to vocalize more, mm -hmm. uh, move her mouth and her jaw more mm -hmm. so she can get, like we're showing her now, mm -hmm. so she can get more of that energy to come out Mm -hmm. Connie had a lot of dental work done at a young age, and it was really traumatic in her mouth. Mm -hmm. And we've worked with her on that as she uh, mm -hmm. 
Can more healing be brought to her teeth and mouth now? Creating more space so everything feels good and comfortable there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even Maybe even placing, this is an idea, an energetic retainer. One that holds the space without the physical being needed. Is something like that possible? Yes. There are possibilities here for her. Mm -hmm. She's learning through her teeth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because she feels so distant from them. Mm -hmm. they, they don't feel like her part of her body. <laughs> and a lot of it is because she's had caps put on them. <laughs> or there's gold put in, you know, yeah. in these places. So this is an experience that she can have to learn to uh, bring them in. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. This is really good. She was wondering um, if the use of cannabis and wine was causing any disturbance. Well, it does for her guilt. Yeah. You know, and that's the disturbance that's the most concerning for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing you are is less mm -hmm. than. And it seems like the use of those remedies for her are because of her fear mm -hmm. of being seen more than the need or addiction mm -hmm. of something. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the areas we can say that are difficult is if she's running away. Mm -hmm. And it's not that we see that that often. Mm -hmm. And so there's some guilt though? Yeah. The guilt is how it's supposed to look. Mm -hmm. to others mm -hmm. and that 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 is a societal guilt she carries mm -hmm. and it's also like we have shown her in these lifetimes the guilt she carries going back mm -hmm. it's the same mm -hmm. it's the same uh, frequency mm -hmm. it's less but mm -hmm. well, she could try without mm -hmm. but it's not really damaging her or disturbing her I don't feel any damage from it. Mm -hmm. no. mm -hmm. it's, a, it's the kind of thing for her in her life that it will fall away when her next, you know, healing takes place and her, her and she holds more of herself mm -hmm. as okay, mm -hmm. as being real. Mm -hmm. And and this this is it's, it's not to be concerned with as much as it is her addressing the guilt, not, not the actions as much as the, like, why can't you, why can't Connie just be Connie? Why does she aspire to be something better? Mm -hmm. And is that better? Real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anything else that you want to address with her physical health? Maybe what she's eating or drinking or mm -hmm. anything else? It's very good. Her juicing was great. Her organics, we really like that. Mm -hmm. she, she wishes she could do more, of course. As we all do, you don't get organic when you eat out <laughs> <laughs> necessarily. Um, her patterns have changed, are changing so drastically now that she has given up. A lot of foods, uh, meat foods. Uh, mm -hmm. She never, she hasn't eaten red meat for years, mm -hmm. 30 years, 40 years. But these other foods that are starting to, she does not want to eat anymore. Well, she's listening. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's good that she's mm -hmm. releasing them with love. And, mm -hmm. um, navigating uh, to more greens. Mm -hmm. yeah, the greens are really helping her. The, the spirulina is really helping her. She's got a good, she's got a good um, immune system mm -hmm. and organization for that. Mm -hmm. And it really, it showed that she's on key with that during this period of uh, not fresh air in the area. Mm -hmm. 
there's more to be done and it's nothing that she doesn't know. Mm -hmm. As she releases her blocks of, uh, you know, thinking less of herself mm -hmm. and more of others. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what she's doing. Very good. She was wondering about, I'm going to go to her questions now. I can continue working on her vessel. Um, she was wondering about what happened in her soul's experience on February 26, 2014, what she calls her event. What was that? That was her release. She released her humanness mm -hmm. in that event. Mm -hmm. And engaged in her a higher self. Mm -hmm. It braided with her lower self. Mm -hmm. And it blew such energy and force through her body that she no longer needed to hold on to her beliefs. Mm -hmm. So it kind of sent everything else away? It was an awakening for her, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Beautiful. Was it connected in any way to the mini stroke? Or did she even have the mini stroke? Mm -hmm. They could be considered the same. Mm -hmm. um, often when a person is going through an awakening process, um, the medical profession would, would deem it differently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would be either catatonic, she was catatonic for a while, and that could have made people think she needed mental help mm -hmm. or, or a stroke or a heart failure of some kind. It, it was more of a lifetime choice to either leave the body or stay. Mm -hmm. and, and her choice was to stay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. some of those events seem eruptive like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She wants to know if she has any contracts that need to be dissolved or released. And if there's anything pulling her from her core purpose. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. there, that, that is not in the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another thing, we talked a little bit about it today. Um, she said she's very active in her dream states. Feels like she's working off planet with other beings, visiting ships and places that help with healing. Um, and she's just wondering more like a summary of, of what is that work that she's mm -hmm. doing so she can know about it. Right. My, part of the, the not remembering is just so that her vehicle doesn't get any more, um, you know, whacked out. <laughs> it, it's taking its toll in, in a lot of the, the work that she's willing to do. And uh, I, it's hard for her to not want to go further and further. Mm -hmm. And uh, she needs more time with herself just the way she is, mm -hmm. you know, and so we don't, uh, well, she knows where she goes, mm -hmm. and if, if it's, if it's necessary to know more, and when it is, we will definitely let her know. Okay, uh, good. You know, she's on it. It's just that you know, she always, it's like, God, you, we love, I love myself. <laughs> 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 and in, in the form of Connie, she's very eager mm -hmm. and uh, can take two steps and the one. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah. that never helps her. Mm -hmm. So she can, she can know us all in mm -hmm. due time that everything comes together mm -hmm. for her. She said that she feels like during the daytime she's kind of hopping between dimensions. Mm -hmm. She and, has moved. Mm -hmm. And wants to know um, what healing needs to happen for her 
And how can she smooth out these transitions and experiences and understand them? It's spending a little more time meditating mm -hmm. is going to help her a great deal. Okay. She is, she can use that. And it's just, that could be her ritual. In the, and if she does in the morning, she sits and then, and at night. Mm -hmm. in, in that, just, she can, she's created a walking meditation mm -hmm. experience. Mm -hmm. That is going to help her a great deal. And to not feel frightened that she is losing connection. Mm -hmm. Yes, sometimes at times she feels that frightened, losing connection when she's out in a, 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 a more expanded state. Mm -hmm. And as she gets used to the fact that she's moved to a more expanded state, she, she won't have that concern. Mm -hmm. She says she wants to know the best way to continue manifesting her gifts. Mm -hmm. Well, she's doing it. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> um, There is no one way. Mm -hmm. She is, is she's in the process. She's continuing on, listening to her heart song. She could write more. We have asked her to write, mm -hmm. and this is a resistance she's had. What's the resistance to writing? She does not want to pick up the pen. Mm. Why is that? She doesn't trust it. Mm. This is an area she doesn't trust in herself, or she's fearful of it. These are the two things she she kind of spins around it. Mm -hmm. She doesn't trust, or she's fearful what will come through, and then she won't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. These are old stories from her old times, mm -hmm. and these things that we've showed her today mm -hmm. with your help mm -hmm. should alleviate any mm -hmm. of those issues. Mm -hmm. If there's any more clearing around this topic that you can do energetically, go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, she says she has this Thursday night women's gathering that she started recently. Um, is it time for this to be a more public group? And what is the fear in being seen coming from? Yeah. All of these still relate to the same yeah. piece. So, it's good to review them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it grows when it grows, mm -hmm. and she won't have to do anything about that, <laughs> except stay out of the way of the fear. You know, if the fear is coming in, you have to go into the fear. And this is what's being up for her now is, you know, to feel that and know that that isn't true mm -hmm. in this in this world mm -hmm. of of her creation. Um, this is, it brings us great happiness when mm -hmm. she's doing this group. Finally, we caught her out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, it, and it wasn't hard. So now that she knows it wasn't hard and it wasn't difficult, and mm -hmm. she just doesn't, it hurts her heart so much to have people um, be cruel mm -hmm. and her fears when she's out and people are cruel with her open hearted that it would hurt, mm -hmm. which it does hurt, but we are showing her where that energy is coming from mm -hmm. and not to let it affect her that way. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. She's wondering how she can best address prosperity, abundance, and work. Mm -hmm. With glee. <laughs> Enjoy it. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Um, yes, she's addressing all of those things, mm -hmm. and herself, it's, it's, it isn't coming together for her as far as, uh, no, it doesn't need to be, no, she knows, yeah, she knows, yeah, she was wondering if you can help her free up her insights about work and freedom to travel. Yes, yeah, I think that that is already happened, I mean, she started this summer. Yeah, going back to her birth home or her birth land and, and uh, actually enjoying not having a home. Yeah. Uh, just being from one place to another. Yeah. So that's good. She says that I'm feeling that I'll be traveling around more. What could that mean? Is there a new geographical change that would be helpful for me? 
<laughs> she is traveling around more, but she's doing it with without a body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yes, that's happening. Mm -hmm. And it is geographical because you don't have to get there. But yes, um there could be changes. I mean there's no reason why not. Mm -hmm. If it feels um but it, the question is always, what is the intention of going, what are you going towards? Mm -hmm. You know, what is the reason? It, it, and uh, mm -hmm. that will show itself yeah. in these years. She was wondering about why she feels drawn to New Mexico and Arizona. Mm, native. Mm -hmm. It's native land and it's coming alive mm -hmm. inside of it. And she mm -hmm. loves, loves it, the, the work of the Pleiadians and the natives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of the Indian. Yeah, we had um, joked before we got started because of um, a session that she had seen of mine before where someone was talking about the water levels rising in this area. Mm -hmm. and do you have any insight about how the area that we're living in now, what's, you know, what we can expect here? Well, it's not going to be the same. I mean, that's kind of true for every every place on yeah. the planet once something happens. Um, there's a lot of energy that's being brought to the coastal area mm -hmm. all the way up. And there has been talk, of course, for years from a linear, more linear approach of what's mm -hmm. happening with these tectonic plates. Mm -hmm. The smoke this summer spoke about that mm -hmm. to her mm -hmm. in, in her desire to be back into the the harder earth is you will know before anything happens mm -hmm. where you need to be mm -hmm. and that's I guess the best I could say as far as the physical look of it it doesn't look like there will be a coast like it is now mm -hmm. but as Gaia moves through this there's so much that can change yeah it, it, it's and what's coming online now with the other terrestrials and um, sphere beings, mm -hmm. uh, the assistance can be greatly shifted. Mm -hmm. So if there's a desire for her, it's never to move out of fear, mm -hmm. uh, but to move out of what your heart pulls you to. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if it's possible for us to do any clearing of the land here today in this session yes and just if there are any beings that are in between dimensions that want to transition to the light maybe we can help them into the light yes mm -hmm. this is very good this is very good she's been doing gridding in, in of the land mm -hmm. the last since the eclipse mm -hmm. in 2017 mm -hmm. i've yes mm -hmm. And she's been feeling um, the earth all the way from Mexico come through her mm -hmm. all the way up. Mm -hmm. And then from a uh, hundred mile house in Canada where she lived all the way down. Mm -hmm. So it's a very focal point right mm -hmm. now. And that, let's do that. Let's, yeah, let's do this energy work now. I'll join in with you. Yeah. Going to balance and restore yeah. any of the ley lines that pass through these lands, correct them, harmonize them, bringing fresh light into the ley lines that are not only here on the earth level, but also in the skies above. Calling in the custodians of these lands to come in and to work and to clear. Clearing the waters, charging the waters, awakening the waters. If there's any density within the human beings here as well that is appropriate to lift off, may we please do this now as well, calling in light beings to support archangels. Mm -hmm. 
Tīdījām un kotājām no kūsušu sonētāja mai, kukuja mai tā vietā. Thank you so much for supporting me. Mm-hmm. She wanted to know as well, just a few more questions. What from her childhood conditioning needs clearing? She's doing it. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. What is the purpose of being in relationship with Bill? Mm-hmm. <laughs> to clear. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything you want to share with her about that? Uh, yes, we are so pleased with her listening. And her guide and listening to the guidance that she was given when in her very angry state, mm-hmm. she could stop. Mm-hmm. She released it at that point mm-hmm. and turned and wanted Bill's best. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. That is stayed, and that is why it is a, a relationship of friendship mm-hmm. that it is there. Is it good for them to still live together? At this time. Mm-hmm. Um, other things could change. It, mm-hmm. it, it isn't damaging. It has given her great opportunity to see her uh, shadows mm-hmm. in her own relationship. It's helping her clear and be aware of shadows with men mm-hmm. and with the, the patriarch. Mm-hmm. So this is this has been valuable. It hasn't been comfortable. Mm-hmm. It's not intended for that, and mm-hmm. she knows that. Well, how can she do some more healing work around the, the masculine and um, come into a place of respect and support? She has to feel, feel. Mm-hmm. And some of it is she'll have to feel the hurt, yeah. the sadness. Mm-hmm. Not judge it. She doesn't have to put a person with it. Mm-hmm. But those, those have to continue to be felt mm-hmm. so that she can release them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there anything else that wants to be shared for Connie today? Well, I think it's just that she is in the perfect time and in the perfect place. Mm-hmm. I wanted to really feel that it's important. Mm-hmm. It's important for her to know she's in the perfect time, and perfect place. place. Yeah, good. Yeah. Do you feel that we're finished today with this I one? do feel. Good. Is there, are there any eyes open, wide awake, feeling wonderful all over? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Well, oh. I shouldn't have put any eye makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, here. yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. How do you feel? Oh, I feel great. You feel good? It was so good. Good, that was yes. so good. Yeah. So, yeah. were you present for it? I was present a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's some things I probably won't even, you know, be able to remember. Yeah. I mean, that's like with channeling. It's like, oh, I was there the whole time. And then when I listened to it, it's like, what? Oh, what's that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't yeah. remember that part. Yeah. But yeah, I was, I was some, somewhat present. Some of the deeper things I could feel myself just, you know, leave. Yeah. And let, let them. Do the thing. Do the thing. Yeah. Yes. And how was it to feel the body when the energies were moving and stuff? Oh, that was that was there was a lot of motion. Uh, it was yeah. like snake like and like dolphin y and watery and yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Was, yeah, it was really neat. Yeah. And it was special and that I mean I didn't even get all the way through the induction. You were already in another lifetime. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you were there. See, this is what you why you meet two people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I didn't know where I was going. Yeah. I mean that was amazing. Yeah, it was special. And then also to have your eyes going you were sometimes your eyes were closed and sometimes they were open. 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 Really? Just open. Yeah. Well I yeah, because I wasn't seeing. I wasn't really your seeing. Eyes were, you didn't her. see anything when your eyes were open? I don't recall seeing anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was really unique, and what was also unique is I got a little bit more of the story of something that I got a long time ago, talking about the fallen consciousness, uh-huh. where somebody was talking about technology and and kind of destroying technology, 
um, that was causing all these issues, but um, it was nice to revisit it from somebody else's perspective that was talking about it. So it was working. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it's cool. Work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you got, it sounds like you got some really good healing. Yeah. Getting a big thumbs up all around yeah. um, in yeah. ourself and beyond. Yeah. Um, just seems like keep going, keep doing keep it. Doing and it. embrace yes. it. Embrace the fact that you're here and that you have these gifts and um, that you can release all those, all of the guilt and the judgment mm -hmm. that you have with yourself from those mm -hmm. other times. And you're, I think what I'm, what I just kind of felt was innocence. Like you're allowed to feel your innocence. Mm -hmm. You've done nothing wrong ever. Yeah. Nothing wrong right. has ever happened. Yeah. So yeah. really just embracing mm -hmm. your, this life that you have every moment that you have the ability to just be here and to be in your heart. And yeah. it's such a huge Gift. It is. Yes, yeah. I agree. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Excellent.